We have to go home, okay? It's the right thing. Yeah! Jesus Christ. Hi everyone, and welcome to day 21 of my 31 days of horror. And I've just finished watching a very good movie. And again, it's a found footage movie, guys, and it's called Afflicted. Now, the cover's quite dark. I don't know if you can see it there. But yeah, Afflicted, it came out in 2013. And it tells the tale of two guys, two best friends, who are basically travelling around Europe. A bit like a holiday vlog, if you will. It's something they've always wanted to do. They're both filmmakers within this film. Uh, and it's just something they've always planned to do, but never got around to doing it until now. So, what's it about? All right, I'm Cliff Rouse. And I'm Derek Lee, and tomorrow we're going on a year-long trip around the world! We're going to film the entire thing, and we're going to post it online as a travel blog. It's going to be epic. Oh my god! Derek! Oh my god! Get to the ambulance, Cliff! We gotta get out of here! You are under arrest. Fermo! Fermo! Let's go! I don't want to stop the trip. You're freaking me out right now. Just stop! We should be at the hospital. There is nothing they can do. Let's just go home. No, we're not going home. We're not going anywhere. Enough! Oh! I have no idea what's going on with Derek. Okay, I am at 60 kilometers an hour! Woo! But what he did should be impossible. Derek? How do you think this happened? I don't know. I need to find Audrey. It starts with her. Are you okay? I feel fine. We're about to bust in on Derek and the girl he just picked up. Call an ambulance. Wake up! Call an ambulance! What happened? I don't know. I don't remember. Afflicted, two guys travelling around Europe. They end up in Italy. Now I'm going to keep this review short guys because I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to be out for work shortly so I'll keep it as quick as I can. But basically they travel Europe and they end up in Italy. Now whilst they're in Italy they meet this girl and they have a dare, you know, let's see if you can like, get off with you know, somebody and this that the other. We'll have a competition who can do it. And one chap in particular gets off with this girl. Now, he wakes up the next morning and he's covered in bite marks. He's like, he's been attacked, he's got a black eye, and he's been attacked, and this, that, the other. And when he goes back to his friend, who's now met up with another guy, and there's two of them, there's three of them all together, and they all take the mic out of him and say, oh, bloody hell, you know, what they should do to you, and this, that, the other. And he can't remember, he just cannot remember what happened the night before. But as the days, you know, come around, it slowly starts to change in that um, it feels a lot stronger. It feels like he can do anything. You know, it feels physically fantastic like he's never felt before. Um, and they start to video all these things. He, he, he punches a hole in a wall. He ends up outpacing this guy's uh, scooter, this motorbike. He can lift cars up, he can jump great distances. And all these things, it's like he's got superhuman powers. Now, what happens is after that, the next few days, he slowly starts to become sick. Um, he starts vomiting all the time when he's eating food. It's like his body will not accept any food that we'd eat. Um, sunlight starts to burn him. So obviously, guys, everything points to the fact that we're dealing with vampire issues. He's turning into a vampire, basically. Now, the way it's done is really good because we don't, we, you know, we don't see him get bit and then 24 hours later, he's got fangs and this, that, the other. It's, it's cannily done because when you think of vampires, you do. You think of long nails, you think of long teeth, don't you, and things like that. Um, 
But they've done it differently in this film. It, they've done it where it just looks like a normal human being during day. Um, and at night time, when he does turn into this hungry monster, he hasn't got the fangs. His face changes where you can see veins a bit more in his face and he loses colour in his face. But other than that, he just looks like a normal person. His eyes probably change as well, go, go a bit greyer, if you will, like he's going blind. But he's turned into a vampire. Um, but like I said, guys, it's all done in a found footage format. Um, like I said, the, the two film directors are documentary makers, if you will. So they know what to do, they know what equipment they're using. And that's how it works well with this film. Um, it's not cheaply made, it's not, you know, like typical cliche things. Um, it works really well. So, as the film goes on, um, his friend tries to help him. He starts going on Facebook and other social media for help. He, he just thinks his friend's ill. He doesn't realise he's turning into a vampire at this point. So people on the online have seen all these things happen that have been caught on video. So, and at one point, we actually see the guy who's been bitten. It's, it, he like licks his hand after he's attacked somebody because he's got blood on it. And somebody picks up on it on, I think it's Facebook possibly. Um, and this actually comments. Are you, is he actually licking his hand? And when they play it back, he is, he's licking the blood. And that gives further clues as to what he's turning into. Um, but anyway, suffice to say, the film goes on and he ends up killing his friend. Now, obviously, when he turns back to a normal human being, he's absolutely distraught. He didn't want his friend to die because he knew his friend was trying to help him. So he's on his own at this point. So what he tries to do, he knows he can't go on. He knows he can't go back to a normal life. So he tries to find the woman. He hunts down the woman who's turned him into this monster because he wants help, he wants to go back to normal. He starts being caught on TV cameras because what they, before, before he kills his friend, uh, they actually take an ambulance because he wants blood, he needs human blood. So they end up driving off with this ambulance with this paramedic in the back trying to save somebody's life. So obviously all this is, is, they're being chased by the police, it's all on the news and this, that, the other. But yeah, because now he's on his own, he's got to find a way to, to get rid of this curse. So, this woman ends up getting back in touch with him eventually and they have a bit of a fight. And she tells him, look, do you think if I could cure you, I'd have cured myself? I can't do. It's not possible. You are what you are now. So he ends up having this rock with this woman. And towards the end of the film, we actually see the fact that he's going to use his powers for some form of good. He's a killing machine. He's a monster. He knows that. He knows he can't go back to being, becoming a human being. So he turns out to be a good guy in the end in that he hunts paedophiles down and people like that, people who are, are bad in the world. I think that is what the end of the film is, is about, basically, at the end. Um, he's going to use his powers, he's, even though the, it's a horrible you know, infliction that he's got, he's going to use them for good. And that's what he does. Now, it's well acted, guys. It's a well acted movie. It, again, you could turn and say, well, afflicted, it's another found footage film. Yeah, you could. But it's again, it's, it's, a, it's slightly different than your Blur Witches and other films such as that because Blur which was unique in that there's no ambient music there's none of that stuff and it just feels it feels right you've got paranormal activity again the way it was filmed it felt right somebody put you know being haunted in their own house and they tried to capture it on tape it felt right this is another one it feels right like I said there's no typical cliche he's got fangs he's got a cape he lives in a coffin and all that stuff no he doesn't you know he ends up living rough he ends up living in abandoned buildings lying on the floor with all this dirt and rain coming through the roofs and things like that. It's gritty and it's dark. Now, there is a scene right at the end of the film as the credits are rolling and we see his friend come back again. And his friend kills these people in the swimming pool. So we know that out there, there's not just one of them, but there's two of them. And they used to say, there could be hundreds of people who are these vampires who've been changed by this woman to start with. But it's a well-acted film, guys. And the locations are perfect for it. Because like I said, it's in Europe. They go to Barcelona, they go to Italy. Um, I think it's a place called Veneza or something like that and it's just well located it really is because it works well with the film the settings of the film there's no silly music there's no silly one-liners there's no cliches in it. It, it it's I just keep saying it but it is a well formatted and well written movie it came out in 2013 guys it's from the producer of Insidious and Sinister so it's got you know it's got some relevance there I guess one of the best horror films of the year it says terrifying once it spreads, there's no going back. But yeah, Afflicted, it came out in 2013, I think it was, so it's not new by any means. But if you like found footage and you like that kind of genre and you want something slightly different than your typical jump scares and things like that, check it out, guys. I presume now, because of its age, it may be on places like Google Play, Amazon and iTunes and places like that. It could well be on Netflix. So have a look around for it, guys. 
If you've not seen it, please do so. If you have seen it, great, let me know what you thought. But that is day 21 of my 31 days of horror. Guys, like I said, it's a quick one is this. Um, so I've not really gone too much into what it's about and why it's and words and all that. But yeah, check it out, Afflicted. All the links are down below, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Like I always say, guys, this is for Blue Coat Animal Sanctuary. If you've got a bit of time and a bit of money, put your hand in your pockets, donate. Again, the links are down below. Um, I'm not going to bore you to death with what it's all about. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching this short review. I do know it's short, so I do apologise. But thanks a lot for watching anyway, guys. And as I always say, take care. And look after yourselves.